We received a very interesting inquiry uh, recently and therefore we're going to use it uh, to explain a few uh, important points about sun plasma here. Um, we're going to jump directly into uh, the question that we have uh, received uh, from the customer and this is the question that, that we've received and this is a very very um, a very good inquiry. Uh, I have just made the purchase by PayPal, uh, 154 pounds plus postage and so on. Uh, the postage is included but uh, that is the price at the moment that uh, the product book goes for. Please find 8 photos attached to view my sun plasma. My sun plasma appeared first in 2007-8 and was very small. It had, I had a, ta a test of cholesterol and I was absolutely fine. That is quite a very important point because um, uh, I mean now uh, given all the information we put out there and it's out there from other sources as well it's very clear that <coughs> there's not a clear correlation between the two cholesterol levels and uh, the appearance of sun plasma. So it began growing uh, over the years and stopped growing in 2013. Oh yes, this is another point that I just forgot to mention is uh, that doesn't mean that people who have sun plasma do not have high cholesterol levels and also those people who had sun plasma and high cholesterol levels sometimes it's been reported that if they just reduce their cholesterol levels the sun plasma seem, sometimes seems to be reducing in size however there's not very clear information about that so you cannot reduce you cannot have your uh, uh, sun plasma disappear, Garan you cannot guarantee that your sun plasma will disappear if you have the high cholesterol levels just by lowering it. So um, it's good to lower it, but um, you cannot um, guarantee that disappearance or the cure, so to speak, uh, of sun plasma by lowering your bad cholesterol. Um, so anyway, um, it began growing over uh, and stopped in uh, 2013 when I had electrolysis at Harley Street Clinic. At the time, the clinician um, research was in the early stages and the, the advice was not very knowledgeable. Now I realized I could have uh, continued the treatment and it may have uh, gone in three to four sessions. This is a very important point and we'll try to explain what she means here. We do not have, uh, we do not show you your picture, the, their pictures, but I mean, now, uh, please, um, I mean, you're authorized to laugh at this picture. Um, my uh, capabilities as a drawer are uh, one of a, of a th three year old. I've actually um, uh, been detested by my art teacher when I was um, in middle school. So, and I, I, I don't seem to be improving at drawing. But that, the point that we're trying to make is the, the same point that we made in another, uh, in another video, but we'll try to make it again. Now some plasma in here, just uh, take this as a, a representative picture only, um, in, in most cases does grow inside the skin and inside the, um, the dermis. So let's assume this is the, the epidermis there. This is the epidermis, let's assume. Um, this is the dermis and hypodermis. It can go very deep in, inside the skin. Therefore, in order to uh, remove it, when if you remove it using um, say electrolysis, electrical arcing, lasers and so on. What you're doing, you're trying to destroy it and then you can destroy it a little bit of it. And then if you destroy a little bit of it, then um, part of it will go back up again once the area is, uh, is healed. So it will look a bit flatter or um, it will just be less evident or smaller. And then after another treatment, then if you just remove a little bit more, here. Just remove a little bit more, then it's going to be after heals a bit, a bit smaller. But if the clinician is quite um, uh, has lots of experience um, about removing some plasma mutation, whatever you want to call the aesthetic professional, then it can go and remove most of it, or remove the complete amount of some plasma. So, say for example, in this case, that part is still there and when it heals it goes back to the surface and you still have a little bit of sun plasma in there. And this is quite an important point that we're, uh, we're trying to, to make because 
This has been the so uh, source of uh, frustration over the years after laser tattoo removal, uh, voltaic plasma re removal and so on. The results if, uh, with laser and plasma or electrolysis removal are entirely dependent on the aesthetic practitioner. So how much of that sun plasma is taking off? So the more it takes off, then the smaller is going to be later on. Or if it takes off the, the whole lot, then it's going to be removed completely. Um, but just going back to this picture, so if you just go and complete the re remove the whole lot in there, so you go to the root of the sun plasma, so you go into inside the dermis, then you may very you you're very likely to completely have this this whole sun plasma removed completely, and this is um, uh, only due to the um, to the confidence and the ability of um, of the aesthetic uh, practitioner. So this is quite an important point, but we're going um, and talk about this inquiry again. Uh, we're just going to close this uh, this wonderful drawing. So hopefully you do understand what she means in there. What she means here is that um, uh, from what has been removed after one treatment, the, the, the sun plasma was still there. And it's not as if nothing was done. It wasn't removed completely. And some people um, don't remove them. Uh, completely um, and this uh, can be um, uh, quite disappointing because you pay a lot of money in order to uh, to remove uh, the sun plasma and then you still have it so um, then uh, I started living with it and covering it up um, with makeup it affected my confidence over the years and I do not want it on my face anymore the electrolysis treatment was successful um, in the fact that it removed the top layer of the sun plasma. When I run down my finger over the sun plasma patch, it feels smooth, the same as the rest of my skin. I cannot feel any bump apart from a slight ridge at the top of uh, where the electrolysis was applied fully. I hope this explained my individual case and look forward to receiving uh, the sun plasma removal gel. Uh, gel. Uh, please uh, see attached photos. Um, questions. Um, can you please confirm how many days it takes for the treatment to complete on the first application? This is quite a, um, a good question and um, uh, we're going to talk about it right now. What um, this uh, person uh, means at the moment is how long is the, the uh, the healing process going to take. This is very likely um, the uh, the meaning of um, of this question. And the healing is normally between five to seven, uh, uh, eight days, re according to how you apply the gel and so on. So the the longer you apply the gel for, the longer that healing process is going to be, and so on and so. On. How long will it take from delivery? We normally have it in the product now in stock because we have standardized it. So once we have the pictures, we are, um, we're able to dispatch within um, two to three days. So once we dispatch from the UK, if you're in the UK, you're going to get it within um, the next day or two. So the region on average five days. So it's not it's not that long wait. So all, all we require is, um, is your pictures. We're going to uh, go again onto this uh, beautiful drawing that uh, I made, uh, which is going to win uh, some uh, uh, awards, I'm sure. And we're going to use it again to make, to explain um, the source of frustration as well with TCA and other uh, and other way, laser uh, voltaic plasma and so on. So uh, people think that um, by um, going through uh, some uh, some plasma removal using um, our product TCA or uh, lasers or um, other types of um, of products that is just like a magic wand you can remove the whole lot but let's say you use our product every time our product takes off a little bit of it it takes off a little bit of it so therefore when the sun plasma is um, uh, heals then although you have a bit of the sun plasma falling off the scab and you can actually see it then you still have it 
and then some people not knowing about this process get frustrated and think that TCA, our product or other products or electrolysis or voltaic plasma or laser do not work. It actually works but one has to be patient with these with these treatments. Um, the treatments can be very successful uh, if you go through a laser treatment or a voltaic plasma treatment or even electrolysis treatment if the practitioner goes and removes the whole lot inside the thermos and that can be done quite easily. So if you're buying any product, even TCA or a product, please bear in mind that it takes a number of applications in order to remove the xanthalasma most of the times and that uh, the way xanthalasma is, is grown inside your skin is dependent on your individual case so sometimes can be uh, shallower than others and uh, sometimes although uh, it looks quite small it's very deep so it depends on your particular case and also a good thing about the sample remover is that the longer you keep the gel for, the more the ablation effect, and some people have even removed it uh, in one session only by just keeping it for a long, long time. So um, the instructions are very different. You keep it only for uh, a few minutes. You can go and uh, read the instructions on our website. And uh, so that hopefully that um, this video and this particular inquiry uh, cleared up a number of um, of questions you may have about removing uh, some plasma. So we hope you find this video useful. If you have any more questions or anything, please let us know. Uh, we're very keen to, uh, to clarify uh, the topic of uh, some plasma removal as much as possible. Thank you very much for watching.